happy. Yeah, we're, we're here today to, to bring awareness to uh, the, the fact that Congress's inability to work together to reach sensible solutions causes real pain to real people. Um, you know, uh, 2,000 shipyarders furloughed. Uh, it's unacceptable. Hundreds of thousands of, of federal employees across the nation. Okay, we're, okay, we're all back to work today. I get that, and that's a good thing. But you know, Standard and Poor's uh, estimated the cost to our economy of the 16-day government shutdown at 24 billion dollars. Think about that. 16-day shutdown, 24 billion dollar loss in our economy, and the best Congress could come up with was kick the can down the road for three months. So I know that I'm uh, concerned as a retiree because we're not sure that we're going to get our paychecks as retirees in the future and how is this going to impact all of the people in the community, whether it be at Foster's, I don't know if I can afford the newspaper anymore. <laughs> And I'm concerned about my uh, my nephew and my godson Jeremy and his family. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's just hard to see the new people, especially people that were really excited about getting a job at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, and a lot of them had just recently started. And then you know they get their job, they're excited, and then you know, by the way, now you have to stay home and you're not going to get paid. You know, and then. I, don't, I, I think a lot of people don't understand how much uncertainty there is in the future, you know, as sequestration moves forward, it's just, you know, as sequestration moves forward, it's just, there's no real answers, and I, I think it's going to impact our shipyard more, and I think it's a shame. I think we do good work there, there's a lot of very nice people there who, as you can see, you know, they, they truly care about the shipyard. They care about our country and they, you know, we want to fix submarines and we want to have a job. And, you know, we use our money in the community and that's all, those are all true things. You know, we go out here, we have beers, we eat out, go to the movies, you know, and it's just a shame when, you know, people want to come to work and they're not, you know, they're told to go home. You know, nobody, nobody wants to be told to go home from work. It's obviously depressing and I think it, uh, you know, it, does, it definitely tries on people, especially you know, when, when you get hit multiple times and you really don't have an answer for people.